response Nigeria government's request to declare bandits as terrorists. The court declaration ended the Buhari regime's reluctancy to declare the estimate groups as terrorists despite mounting pressure from political players. You are welcome to the news. Federal High Court sitting in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, has applauded the activities of groups linked to banditry and declared their activities as out of terrorism. The court asked the President, Muhammad Buhari led administration to publish the prescription order in the official gazette and two national dailies. Justice Taiwo Taiwo, a ruling on Friday, declared the activities of the Yan Binga group and the Yatada group and other similar groups in any part of the country, especially in the northwest and the north central geopolitical zones, as art of terrorism and illegality. The terrorism activities include both not limited to banditry, kidnappings for ransom, kidnapping for marriage, mass abductions of school children and other citizens, cattle wrestling, enslavement, imprisonment, several deprivation of physical liberty, torture, rape, sexual slavery, and forced prostitution, forced pregnancy, other forms of sexual violence attacks and killings in communities and commuters and wanton destruction of lives and properties in Nigeria, he said. The ruling was given after an agreement by Amino Kayode Aliyu from the Federal Ministry of Justice, who urged the motion as parte filed by the federal government to that effect. The court declaration ended the Buhari's regime's reluctancy to declare the extremist groups as terrorists despite mounting pressure from political players. A controversial Islamic scholar Ahmed Gumi had earlier warned President Muhammad Buhari and the federal government not to declare bandits who were killing and adopting people in the north as terrorists. The Sunnis scholar had said, I beg your pardon, declaring them as terrorists would come with a big prize. Gumi, an ex soldier and medical daughter, has been campaigning for amnesty for the outlawed terrorist terrorizing states in the northwest and some parts of the north central Nigeria. Meanwhile, the defense minister, Baish Magashi, had said that President Muhammad Buhari was following due process in declaring bandits as terrorists. Buhari's media aide Garaba Shehu has referred to the bandits terrorizing the country, especially the Northwest, as terrorists. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this. Did their government go to any court before they declare IPOP a terrorist group? Did they consult any court before riding Igbo? Igbo who? What the bandits had done no other militant group, so to say, have done that. Nothing is balanced. Nothing is fair. So Buari is waiting for court before declaring his kinsmen terrorist. Buari, God go punish you. <laughs> Very good, unlike some people that refuse to accept the terrorist group IPOP as terrorist. Nigeria is now fighting with three different terrorist organizations from Boko Haram, ISWAP, IPOP, and bandits at the same time. May God save Nigeria and grant victory to our troops. Mm. Okay, someone is saying IPOP is a terrorist group, mm. which I doubt. Did Nigerian government wait for court before declaring IPOP terrorists? Someone is saying asking. Declaring them terrorists, not the issue, but how to tackle and stop their activities should be a major priority. Of the government and that is the truth not just by saying they are not terrorists even when you declare them terrorists and their activities are still ongoing <laughs> it's still the same thing you understand
The reason why they have refused to declare them terrorists, that is still the reason why they will not still chase them too hard. You understand? Someone is there, you know, negotiating for them, campaigning for them, or whatever, that they should not declare them terrorists. And if you ask for why, why, why will you? These are a group of people who have been killing people, adopting for ransom, destroying properties. In fact, they don't make life so hard for Nigeria. They don't make life so difficult for Nigerians. And someone is there clamoring, eh, they may they leave them. May they say what to happen. The question now is, this one, when courts don't declare them as terrorist group, eh, will the government be happy with the court? You know what I'm trying to say. Would they hmm, do the needful to make sure that the activities, you know, become history in this country? Is a big question, no? Okay. All right, someone said Boko Harams had been declared terrorists over 10 years. And they are still existing. And they still kill anyhow. So it is not just about declaring them terrorists. Is about government willing to treat them as terrorists. That is it. Are they ready to treat them as terrorists? Not by just saying, ah, they are that terrorist. The truth is that they will find it difficult to treat them as one because hey, they're not great saying these people be terrorists. That is it. So they will find it difficult to treat them as one. Let's see how it goes whether the, the 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 drum of the dance is going to change but hmm, but hmm, forget this matter nothing will happen they don't see them as terrorists they have said it before they said they are business people they said they are common criminals so they are not terrorists so that one went cross just the tongue they talk after all boko haram had been declared terrorists for 10 years now and they are still waxing very strong it's only IPOB they see as danger to them. It's only IPOB uh, 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 members are terrorist organization in, in, in Nigeria, but these people are freedom fighters. You know, say the matter just gets us a bit. So, guys, let me drop it here. What's your take? Share your thoughts with us. Thank you very much. Bye for now.